Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations to describe a way to use AFSK to generate frequency shift keying and this is the way that it's commonly done today on the HF bands. What you get at the output is exactly like you would get with true frequency shift keying or FSK. The way that it works is you take a basic single sideband transmitter and that's what this is. This is a block diagram of a single sideband transmitter. Notice that we have an oscillator, a balanced modulator, a filter which provides the proper bandwidth for voice SSB which is usually 300 Hertz to 3000 Hertz, a bandpass filter with steep skirts at uh, the RF frequency range of the constant um, of the constant frequency output of the transmitter. Then you have a microphone, an audio amplifier, balanced modulator. Actually all these stages here, uh, the oscillator is the VFO or the variable frequency oscillator, but there are also stages in here for intermediate frequency conversion so that whatever uh, the, the oscillator here has a constant frequency range, say seven, oh, let's say 8,000 to 8,500 kilohertz, and then you mix that to get whatever frequency range on the ham bands that you want. Microphone, audio amplifier, balanced modulator. Well, all you need to do is put a two-tone oscillator or a, a frequency shift keying audio oscillator in place of the microphone with the appropriate attenuation pads to avoid overloading the audio amplifier and causing distortion. The two most common tones used are 2125 Hertz and 2975 Hertz for 170 Hertz shift frequency shift keying. So you literally put those audio tones into the audio amplifier and with this filter and assuming that it's a clean system that is, you know, not a lot of noise, not a lot of extraneous signals and anything, just in fact virtually none, two pure tones, you will get the equivalent that the output of true frequency shift keying of uh, with a 170 Hertz shift. Now this is the way that it's commonly done with radio teletype but and also similar modes to radio teletype. Phase shift keying though it'll work with that. It'll work with uh, the WSJT modes. Any modes that involve frequency or phase shift can be done that way you simply put an audio oscillator in place of the microphone and you get that at the output. There are some special considerations which are, are too much for this video. Too much time <laughs> for this video. But that's the way that it basically works today. You can get the equivalent, in fact it's, it is frequency shift keying. But what you're really doing is using audio frequency shift keying at the input of this audio amplifier right here. That's easy to do. Uh, it's available. Uh, all you need to do is have a commonly available terminal unit or what they call a, de a demodulator or interface here and your computer in the whole nine yards and you get the exact equivalent of what would happen if you reactants modulated the oscillator in order to obtain frequency shift keying. And you can do that too, but that's the old-fashioned way. But incidentally, that's the first way I did it. And I designed a way to do that 
with the oscillator on my Drake T4X transmitter. Do you remember those old Drake units? Uh, I had a friend, Ned Carman, who uh, founded the um, Handy Ham system in Minnesota, and he used to call the Drake uh, transmitter, receiver, and amplifier there in their uh, club station as the birds. <laughs> Drake, you know, male ducks. Just a little aside there, but that's how this works. And it's uh, very easy to do. All you need is a good transceiver, and you've got it made. Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73 for now, and so long.